What's up guys, Justin the Wide Nutritionist here and here at CBG we help you lose body fat, build muscle and crush your wads without tracking macros. If you're just listening to this podcast, you know that the Daniel Brandon documentary came out, check it out. It is awesome. It's so cool to see these athletes lives unfold, teenagers, pre-teenagers and how they developed into the athlete and person they are today. I can't speak highly enough about the documentary and it's not just because she's an athlete we work with, but I think I think she is a huge name in the sport and she inspires so many people and for her to share her story and be vulnerable is awesome. So if you haven't, go to the Rad YouTube channel, check it out. If you're just joining this channel, go ahead, smash that subscribe button if you want more nutrition related content around losing body fat, building muscle, and actually looking like you CrossFit. Obviously, PRs, building strength, all the above, right? Today's topic is gonna be around the most important nine nutrition lessons that I've learned over my career the last 10 years that is gonna help you actually start looking like you do the workouts that you do. So many of us are frustrated because we're doing four to five watts per week. Some of us waking up for the 5 a.m. class and we don't feel like we're getting any benefits, meaning we're not losing body fat, we're not building muscle, we're not crushing our watts. We do worse in the open one year than we do better the next year. There's no consistent improvement over time and it's very, very frustrating. We wanna feel confident in our body. We wanna feel like we can reach these goals no matter what. And so in order to do that, we have to make sure we're bringing bringing both the fitness side and the nutrition side together. And so think about this. You're actually going to your box four to five times per week. You have a coach telling you what to do, supporting you, hoorahing you, getting you engaged and getting you excited. Their workouts are planned for you. On the nutrition side, you got nothing. You're just guessing. Focusing on just the workouts and not the nutrition is like being a street performer on a cul-de-sac. You're not really going to see any real results. So in order to get the results, Results you want, you have to start focusing on the nutrition side. And just to bring this point home, before we get into the nine lessons I'm gonna teach you today, if you're doing four to five watts per week, you're likely burning about 200 to 250 calories in each workout. 200 to 250 calories is one donut. So my point being, you can't just eat whatever you want because you're doing CrossFit. There has to be a systematic approach that is individualized to you and that fits your lifestyle and that allows you to stay consistent, hitting the amount of protein that you need and hitting the total amount of calories that are going to allow you to really start feeling and looking like you do CrossFit. Okay. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first tip today is protein is the most important macronutrient for CrossFitters. Now, why is it the most important macronutrient for CrossFitters? Well, the reason is, is because protein is literally what our muscles are made up of. So whenever we go to the gym and we're doing strength training or we're doing a Metcon, right? We are tearing muscle tissue and we need to rebuild that muscle tissue. Protein allows for more muscle tissue to be rebuilt and make it larger so that you present to have bigger muscles. Those bigger muscles adapt and they allow you to get stronger. And so the main macronutrient that helps rebuild those muscles and repair them is protein. Now, protein also can make us feel very satiated and it can really help us make sure that we're not feeling hungry throughout the day, especially if we're consistent getting enough of it, okay? So protein is the most important macronutrient for CrossFitters. It helps with our recovery, helps making sure that we're building muscle over time so that we can get stronger and allow us to go back into the wad the next day and feel like we actually adapted and can hit it hard again okay so focusing on protein is number one it's the most important macronutrient for crossfitters i recommend getting anywhere between 0.8 and 1 gram per pound of body weight daily to do this take your body weight multiply it by 0.8 and also multiply it by one hit in between those numbers that is the total grams that you should have daily to make it even easier and this is a little bit of an introductory into the cbg program what we do here is take the total number of grams of protein divided by the total number of meals, snacks, and protein shakes that you're going to eat. And that's going to tell you how many grams of protein you need per meal. Now, 30 grams of protein is the size of your palm. Very easy. So now you're not tracking macros and you're hitting your protein goal consistently and you need to hit it also on the weekends. The weekends are not a freebie. So that's number one. Number two, yes, you should be taking creatine. All right, creatine is the best, most supportive in terms of studies and the scientific literature backed supplement out there, okay? And so those scared to take it are missing out on a huge opportunity for you to actually see the gains in the gym that you want. It helps with maximal level strength, anywhere from five rep maxes all the way to one rep maxes. And it can also help us push at the end of 
our wads, taking ADP and converting it into ATP, which is the main source of energy that the body uses. And so you need to be taking creatine daily. Does it take two to three weeks to saturate the muscle? Yes. Do you have to take it consistently? Yes. Does it matter what time you take it? No. Does it make you bloated and fat? No, it doesn't. And actually, X-Endurance has a creatine called Creatine JB that really helps get into the muscles quick, doesn't actually make you feel bloated. And so that's the brand that I recommend. Third-party tested creatine monohydrate. Very effective, tastes great. I use it as a pre-workout every single day. So creatine helps with recovery. It helps with making sure we can get those last final reps in our workouts, especially for CP battery-based workouts, heavier barbell-based Metcons, which are coming up in quarterfinals here shortly. So make sure that you're getting in creatine creatine daily, five gram. The third thing, you don't need to track macros to lose weight, build muscle. In fact, tracking macros is unsustainable. This is our slogan here at CBG, to quit tracking macros. And the reason is, is because it eventually becomes a part-time job. Is tracking macros scientifically sound? Yes, calories in versus calories out. If you hit a certain number and you hit those numbers consistently, you should see results. But practically, it's not something that we can do forever. I don't know any grandmas out there tracking the macros and so you wanna to get to a place to where you can not track but still understand your intake because eventually you get to that point where you're consistent one week, you're not consistent the next, okay? Now without consistency, you don't know why you're getting results or if you're not getting results, why you're not getting the results that you want and so you have to be finding something to do consistently. So let me ask you this, if you're a vegetarian and one week you eat all plant-based meals and then the next week you eat meat, are you actually a vegetarian? No, and so you're not actually tracking your macros if you're not tracking every single gram, tracking every morsel of food and weighing it and everything you put into your mouth is not practical or sustainable. Instead, find a way to understand your intake without tracking. The first thing I would focus on is my point nutrition lesson number one of today's YouTube video, which was hitting that protein intake. Now, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button below, smash that so you can get other content like this, shorts, long form videos from here, from CBG, my team going forward. Now, the fourth tip is don't add more wads for fat loss. Focus on nutrition, okay? Now, why do I say this? Justin, when we add more wads, we burn more calories. Or maybe you're that person that's like, man, I need to get ready for summer. I really need to start running in the mornings, right? This is the wrong approach. Adding more exercise, more cardio is just like saying, I'm going to cut my carbs on the nutrition side to a really low amount. Why? Because what happens when you quit running or adding those extra Metcons? You're going to go and revert right back to the same body weight that you were before, right? Because your activity level goes goes from something very high to something lower. And so instead, we need to build proper nutrition habits that allow for us to make things easy and simple flowing into our life. And so that's why I don't recommend more cardio for fat loss. Now, as it warms up, doing more active things, pickleball, going for a walk with the dogs, things like that are great, but you're not simply gonna add more cardio in every morning for the rest of your life to be able to lose weight. And so think about things you can do sustainably on the fitness side, leveraging your time. That comes through eating the right things at the right times with the right food, foods to fuel your body properly, to hit your workout with intention, not just simply adding in more running or deciding to do a half marathon randomly, which I see a lot. Number five, accountability is your best friend. Find someone that can support you with this. There are two options that I give people when I decide if we're gonna take them on into our coaching program, right? And this is what I tell them. Give yourself three to six months to do it on your own. If you can't, it's time to do something different. So the first thing that you could do is, hey, I don't want to pay for a coach. I'm cheap. I don't have money or it's not something I want to invest in. I could do this on my own. Whatever. Great. Get new friends. Get new friends. Get friends that support around you and have similar like-minded goals that can hold you accountable. I'm cheap. I don't want to pay for a coach. I have $10,000 in savings, but I want to keep that there for an emergency, but my health's not important enough to invest in. All valid points. I only pay for things that I want as well. If I don't want it, I don't pay for it. No problem. Change your friends. Now, if you don't want to change your friends and you don't want to get accountability partners to support you and your goals are really important to you, you have to hire a coach. You have to hire somebody that's going to support you, that is going to be there to give you that accountability. Because you went three to six months without being able to do it on your own. Something needs to 
to change and it's either got to be your environment or it's got to be a coach, right? That's it. Otherwise, you'll stay stuck exactly where you are wondering, why do I feel like I can do this on my own, but I'm not actually doing it and I'm not seeing the results that I want. I believe in you guys. I want you guys to see the results, but these are the things that I see amongst people over the last 10 years. You need to be able to change your environment or actually bite the bullet, pay for the coaching, just make sure it's with the right team. If you're interested, we do have enrollment closing soon. You could click the link below to book a call with my team to see if we can even help you with the goals that you have. So that's tip number five. The nutrition lesson number six, cut fat instead of carbs, but when you're going on a fat loss phase. Justin, what the hell are you talking about? I thought cutting carbs is gonna help me lose weight. Yes, it can, but carbs keep us fuller for longer and carbs are our wide energy. So we don't want to cut our carbs unless we really need to. Now, why are we gonna cut fats? Well, first off, we need usually 15% of our body weight in fats for our reproductive system, for brain health, and a variety of other functions. Outside of that, we don't need as many fats. Additionally, fat has nine calories per gram, the most of any macronutrient. And so when cutting fat, you actually cut a lot more calories than if you cut protein or if you cut carbs. So cutting fat is the first thing to cut, and if necessary, you can cut carbs after that. Carbs are our wide energy, never forget this, the second most important macronutrient for CrossFitters. Now, that's number six. Number seven, hydration and recovery drinks are expensive cat pee. Yes, you heard it here. A lot of the hydration drinks, LMNT, you know, the rain or the energy drinks or all this stuff that's out there that people are talking about and buying. They have the wrong ratios of sodium and potassium, which are very important hydration salts for athletes, and they're expensive. You could simply add salt to your post-workout protein shake in a one to three ratio and get exactly the same benefits or better. Now, Fit Aids and all the other stuff, they usually don't have enough of the active ingredient in there, one being creatine, to actually get you the results that you want. So instead, take five grams of creatine monohydrate, incorporate it into your post-workout protein shake, save yourself the money, invest it in something else, the stock market, coaching, whatever makes you happy. So expensive cat pee, unless you really love the taste and you're supporting the brand, there's no need to decide that you're going to immerse yourself in buying tons and tons of this stuff over your CrossFit lifetime. So that's number seven. Number eight, if you have a diet you're following that has a name, paleo, keto, you're doing something wrong. These diets that are incorporated have these names have become popular because it's the easy way out. We as humans are attracted to doing things that are easy. So we're hardworking CrossFitters, right? That's what we do. We built it into our lifestyle. It makes us proud to be able to go into the gym day in and day out and work to get better. We don't want to take the easy way out. The rest of the world likes to take the easy way out. Not everyone. It's sort of a figure of speech. But when those people like to take the easy way out, those diets become popular. The paleos, the intermittent fastings. There are no tricks out there. There's no magic wand. Intermittent fasting is going to get you to your goal. Those hacks don't exist. So the diets out there that are named like this have become popular because they're easy and people immerse themselves in them. They get results for a short period of time and then the results fade away and they go back exactly where they were before they started. And that's because these diets are unsustainable. They're restricting you in terms of the times you can eat or they're restricting you in terms of the foods you can eat. And we know restriction is horrible for sustainability. So avoid this if you're looking to really get great long-term results, right? This includes the GLP agonists, the Ozempics and all these other things. Don't use these medications as a first resort, right? They're short-term and also very expensive. Now, tip number nine, fueling for performance is the greatest hack for body comp. Now, what do I mean by this? The greatest athletes in the world, the Danielle Brandons, the Chandler Smiths, the Sam Quants, Ellie Turners, they're focused primarily on performance. Now, they wanna win the CrossFit Games, they wanna do well at the CrossFit Games, they're competitors, it's in their blood. They love victory. Now, they focus on fueling their body appropriately. They're focused on fueling with the right amounts of carbs, right amounts of protein, at the right times, and the right foods. Now, by doing this, what are they doing? They're giving themselves the ability to hit their workout sessions with intentionality and purpose and actually be able to adapt to that so they can improve. Now, their body, what happens to it? Because they're training so hard, because they're fueling it correctly, their body changes as a result of that. So, you can do the exact same hack that CrossFit Games athletes do every single year, focusing on performance. Set a high rocks race or a CrossFit competition in the near future so that you can set a goal for yourself to go there and crush and do well. That's gonna only allow you to say, hey, well, I need to fuel my body appropriately so I don't get injured. I need to fuel my body appropriately to get better at these movements, to improve my capacity, to get stronger, and therefore you're gonna eat the right 
things at the right times and the right amounts to reach those goals. And you will see your body composition change as a result of this. Very, very powerful. Use this hack instead of focusing primarily on what the scale is saying. I know people that are 150 pounds that are super jacked. And I know 150 pound people that are skinny fat. They don't look the way that they want. And so the scale is not everything. Love your body for what it can do, not just what it looks like. And eventually you'll see your body change. All right. I appreciate you guys. Those of you that are just joining the channel. My name is Justin. I'm the Wad Nutritionist here at CBG. We have 10 full-time coaches that help you lose body fat, build muscle, crush your wads without tracking macros. We have open enrollment now. If you want to join our one-on-one -on -one coaching program, you can go ahead and click the link below. You can go ahead and book a call with my team. And then I'm going to chat with you after to enroll you inside the program so we can help you make this the best year of your life. Lose body fat, build muscle, crush wads, no tracking macros necessary. And I'll see you guys in the next one.